Hello and welcome back. Let's find the measure of some unknown angles. We're given find the measure of each unknown angle, give reasons for your calculations, and show all the steps to your solutions. Okay. Well, we can see that angles at a point sum to 360. We can see angles on a line sum to 180. We have vertical angles. Okay, so if we have that these are vertical angles, that means we can write x minus 10 degrees here. Same here. We can write x minus 11 degrees there. And this is equal to this. Okay, well, since there was an x and a y here, I don't want to start with that. But notice this angles on a line, the sum to 180. Let's start with that. Okay, so 3x plus 6 plus x minus 10 plus x minus 11 is equal to 180. Why don't we write in our reason now? Angles on a line. Sum to 180. Okay. Let's keep going. Combining like terms, 3 plus 1 plus 1 is 5x. And then we have 6 minus 10 minus 11. So minus 21 plus 6 is minus 15. Then we have equals 180. Equals 180. Okay. Plus 15 on both sides. Five x is equal to 195. 195 divided by 5 is 39. We have x equals 39. We don't have x as an angle, so we just have this value. Okay. So now we should be able to find y. Now that we know x, let's keep going. So 3x plus 6 is equal to y. The vertical angles are equal in measure. Vertical angles. are equal in measure. Okay. And then we know how much x is. It's 39. So then we have 3 times 39 is 117 plus 6 is equal to y. So 117 plus 6 is 123, y equals 123 degrees. Which is here. And so of course that means this is 123 degrees. All right, so as far as these angles, that's even easier. So x minus 10, that means 39 minus 10, which is 29. So that means this is 29 degrees. And then 39 minus 11 is 28. 
And so this is 28 degrees. And we're done.